Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we have the Airbot Wrath Mini ESC. Now these are very tiny, very very tiny actually. So these are rated for 25 amps and they could take 2 to 6S LiPo as well as run D Shot 1200 up to 32 kilohertz, which is just amazing really for such a small package. Now let me put them next to the Airbot Wrath 50 amp ESCs just to get an idea of how small these guys are. And boom. So that is just crazy. It's maybe about the quarter of the size of this guy. So they're saying this guy could run a, a what 4 to 6S LiPo. So that's just crazy. So let's just see. Let's quickly go over it and see the components on here if there is any. So we, we are running the Cortex M0 microcontroller unit and are we let me just double check this yes yes okay and um let's take a look on this side so we don't get any current resistor uh we're not getting any rgb led we're just getting a small tiny 25 amp ese that runs d shot 1200 and it could run a 6s lipo so currently we have how many capacitors? One, two, three, four, five. That's good. They're pretty well sized capacitors, so that's this should be good. Um, I'm not expecting super performance just because of how small it is, and just the amount of capacitance on it uh, should not be so you know strong. So we can expect a little noise, a little noisier than usual. But this is not meant for the motor that I'm currently testing actually. So this is a 25 amp with a I think 30 amp or 35 amp burst and the whole idea i guess of this is just a small cheap it's only 14 dollars so if you wanted a 32-bit esc and this actually performs pretty well uh this would be your go-to guy so let's check him out i mean airbot never failed us before so hopefully they don't fail us here so yeah so enough talking let's get started Alright guys, so how did this guy do since he's tiny and rated for 25 volts? So I compared him with the Little B Summer just because even the Little B Summer I think is the same price or even a little bit more expensive and they're both 32-bit and the same exact features. Now, you know, you would expect the Summer to be better possibly just because it's bigger but actually the Summer is just absolutely terrible compared to this guy. Um, that one's even rated for a higher amperage which is 30 or 35 amps. So on voltage spike, this guy did 24.2 volts. Totally fine inside the safe zone. Nothing to worry about. The top of the safe zone is 27 volts. And I based this off of the VTX highest voltage inputs. And the little B summer, we've reached 29.4 volts. So that's over the safe zone by like, what, 2.4 volts. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. It's totally fine there. But, you know, in four motors, it all adds up. But that's totally fine. There's nothing to worry about there. Now, the most important part here is the voltage drop. The voltage drop on this guy was 11.8, which is very good. So um, depending on what kind of PDB or, or, or flight control you're running, you should be totally fine. Um, I don't think you would expect voltage, I mean, uh, VTX blackouts. Um, since it's 11.8, that's that's pretty good. That's like, like, that's that's actually, that's good, depending on your voltage regulator and depending how you're running it. So this is very good. Uh, and don't forget, this is 25 amp, and I was using a very strong motor. So this is meant for something a little bit lighter, and it's holding up very well in this harsh motor, which is the Emax 2205S. And um, on the Little B Summer, it was 8.8 .8 volts for voltage drop. That is just about a VTX blackout, depending on your regulator. So, yeah. So this guy just completely outdid it, and he's not even meant for such a strong motor. So that just screams that this one is actually good. Um, in noise perspective, this one completely annihilated Little B Summer, and, um, and and again, this motor, this is not meant for a motor such as this, and it handled very well. So overall, this is a very good ESC. If you're looking for a tiny 32-bit ESC, um, I think this is going to be your best friend. 
and if anyone's used it i'm gonna be putting these on the build soon but if anybody's used it please leave a comment down below and let me know how that went for you so uh we can all judge upon that also and then build upon it upon your uh, experience with it so overall this seems like a good one i would be more than happy to stick it on the build and test it and that's it guys so uh if you guys have any questions or any suggestions just feel free to let me know and please don't forget to like and subscribe and i uh, will see you next time see you guys